اطلب العلم اخيف هو درب به به ترقى به تحيا عالما حرا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان شاء الله ويل كونتينيو ذا توبيك جروث اند ديفلوبمنت ستيل وي كافرد ذا جروث ان بلانت ذا جرافز ذات ار يوز ان جروث سبيسيفيكلي جروث جروث ان اول انيمالز وي اكسبلين اجين ذا جيرمينيشن ذن وي اكسبلين كونديشنز نيسيري فور جيرمينيشن وي اكسبلين ذا ستراكشر اوف ا سيد وي اولسو اكسبلين Uh, types of germination, the ABG and hybrid germination. Now today we will going to start again uh, seed dormancy. Now let us define the term seed dormancy. Seed dormancy is a state in which a mature seed will not germinate, even though all the necessary germination, all the necessary uh, conditions. For germination are available, so it is a, a state in which a seed will not germinate, even though the seed has all the necessary uh, conditions required for germination. So let us see what can be the cause or why a seed can be in a dormant state or in a dormant state. Uh, one of the reasons why a seed can be in a dormant state is one, it can be First, a factor. This factor can be a factor from the environment. Environmental factor can cause a seed to be in dormant state, or it can be a factor from within the seed itself, the structure of a seed, or and anything related to the seed, or it can be a factor that is related to the timing, the time uh, of the seed, or the time in which the seed is ripening, or the developmental time. Of the embryo within the seed, so it can be those. So you can, when, whenever you want to think of the reasons that cause seed dormancy, think of these three things: the environmental factor, or environmental reason. Then, an another impact can be an impact from the seed itself, or it can be the time related to the seed. Now, if you look the first one, we have the impermeability of the seed. Impermeability of the seed coat. So we know the importance of the seed coat is for protection uh, for the seed. And this protection is very important because a seed is a living thing and it needs to be protected. Just like our body, the way our body is protected by, by the epidermis that you have on the skin. Uh, also the seed should be protected. Now this protection is important. At the same time, it should be permeable to water, for example, to the nutrient that's needed. If you remember, Uh, we said in the structure of a seed, it, there's a micropyle, and this micropyle allow, allow the water to get into the seed, or a nutrient to get into the seed. Now, if the seed become impermeable to water, so that seed will take a long time to start germinating. So in that period, the seed, the, the, the seed will be in a dormant state. The next point is the embryo. Because we say the embryo of a seed consists of a sh the radical and a polymer. So if the embryo is underdeveloped, so that seed will be in a dormant state. Why can an embryo be, or how an, an embryo can be uh, underdeveloped? Maybe uh, it has not completed the, the right time or the, the enough time for, us, for the embryo to develop very well. So it can be a factor caused by time, or it can be a factor that's related to the hormones, to the hormones that we're going to see in the coming uh, lectures. And another reason is due to high uh, level of inhibitors. We know the seeds contain, sometimes the seeds contain some inhibitors like abscessic acid. Abscessic acid is, a, we're going to see, It is an inhibitor that inhibit growth generally at the same time in germination. Another reason is hard coat. The, the seed we said it has a tester or a hard covering. So this hard covering of the seed sometimes can be a pro problem. Uh, if the water may not get in uh, or the water gets in at the same time, this coat is very hard such that the, the seed cannot rupture. So that will delay the period in which this seed will germinate at the same time increasing the dormancy. 
Another thing is a requirement of a, a low temperature, which is called vinylization. These some seeds are very uh, in a condition whereby they will be in a position that they need a certain temperature. For example, there will be some seeds that are specific and they will only grow a specific time, specifically maybe like the winter or these seeds may grow in a summer. So these kinds, these kind of seeds, they will be referred to uh, seasonal seeds. So these are some of the reasons that causes seed dormancy. So how can we remove seed dormancy? There are two ways of re removing seed dormancy: natural way of removing, and there is artificial way of removing. Now the natural way of removing seed dormancy can be by chance. It can happen or it cannot happen. It, it is by chance. Let's start with the first one. One way of removing the seed dormancy is removing through um, enzymes, through using enzymes, and these enzymes will cleave or will cut the seed coat or the covering of the seed. This is normally happens uh, when an, when a seed coat when a seed is eaten by an animal. So this the the enzyme in the animal will cleave the seed coat and the the seed will be the enzyme the enzyme will cleave the seed coat and the, the dormancy will will end like that when an animal excrete the the seed the seed will be in a position to germinate another way is through hormones that increases and we said uh, sometimes a seed may delay its time of growth because of under and underdevelop of embryo so this, if the hormones, the right hormones are present, then that dormancy will be broken and it will never, never be again a problem. Another way is by inhibitors. We say and some, uh, the, some of the reason and of C dormancy is presence of inhibitors. So these inhibitors can be destroyed by heat and light. So presence of heat and light naturally will destroy these inhibitors and that will also break the dormancy. Another way of reducing is by acid, specifically the GIT or the digestive tract in the animal will uh, break or will cleave or will cut the acidic, the acid present in the, in the in the GIT and this seed, because of the acid it will crack and the seed coat will crack and the seed will be in a position, the seed will be in a position to, to germinate easily when it comes out of the animal. Another way is uh, since the winter season, naturally, because we, the, the season changes. So if a seed used to germinate in the certain season and not germinating in the other season, when it is season rich, it will start germinating. Uh, artificial breaking of seed, of seed dormancy. This is a way we can break, I and mean, just artificially, not waiting anyone to do it, but ourselves we can break by using the treatment of uh, seeds. We can treat seeds with acids and this is called chemical scarification. That is one way. S chemical scarification means when you, use, uh, when you use a chemical, like for example acid, to pour or to put on the seed, so this acid will crack the, this acid will crack the, the seed coat or the covering of the seed and that position is like you have cracked the, the seed and the seed will be in a position to, to germinate if you plant it. Uh, another way of treating is uh, treating by use of hormones like the auxin and uh, uh, cytokine and gibberellins. This one we are going to explain uh, inshallah soon. Uh, hormones that are related to plant we will explain soon. So these are hormones that promote growth. Another way is treating a treatment of seeds with oxygen. So oxygen is very important because it oxidizes inhibitors and these inhibitors will not be there again anymore. It is a, again a way of treating it. Another way of treating it is keep the seeds in a cold uh, area. So if you keep the seeds in a cold area, the reason that we say that uh, the vinylization will not be there and you can easily break that dormancy by keeping the seed in a in the cold season. Hope that, that is clear for seed dormancy and that is a summary about 
We see you next time. Thank you very much. See you next time, inshallah.